Hey students, this is a quick video on starting your scientist project. Uh, hopefully it'll be really good and something fairly easy to do. So where I'm starting is currently I am in Canvas. Your Canvas should look very similar to this, although you can't maybe see some of the menu items on the left hand side. But if you scroll down to this week, we have our scientist project. See it down here in week four. If you click on the scientist project, the PDF, this will take you to kind of an overview of what we're doing with the scientist project. So basically, just a quick overview. I know you can read this, but a quick overview is you're going to pick out a scientist. We're going to look at that list in just a couple of seconds. You're going to pick out a scientist and write a one page paper on a scientist that you're also going to include a reference page for this on. So we're going to talk about how to do that a little bit later in the video. Um, I'm going to ask you to do the research through the school library site. Um, and I've talked you through it in class or I'm going to talk through it on the video as well. Um, then I'm going to make you have a Google slide presentation as well of that scientist and we're going to share that as a group while well, you're going to turn it in but then I'm going to share it collectively as a team and we're going to be able to kind of learn about more scientists than just one scientist. All right our due date is on there 10 4. So some things to think about some things to include in your paper. First of all your scientist name of your scientist. Uh, we'll talk about the video or talk about the researching in just a couple of seconds but the paper is itself is going to be double spaced. I encourage you to use either Microsoft Word or Google Docs. Uh, Times New Roman 12 point font, normal margin, so one inch all the way around. Some things to include in your paper uh, would be when they lived, early life, contributions to the scientific world, some awards that they won. Maybe there's some fun facts about them. Um, reference page, that'll be another video as well, but We'll talk about how to get there and hopefully you're using the school website which we're going to go to in just a couple seconds. Then there's the Google slide presentation. What I've done is I've made a Google slide. So if we go back here and kind of go to the bottom again, this is our Google slide presentation outline and this will take us to Google slides. All right. Make sure I'm in the right account. All right. And you're going to make a copy of this and put your information about the scientist on there. How you make a copy. The first thing that you do is you hit the three dots on the right hand side. See that? And now we're going to go to share and export. Click on share and export. Then you're going to make a copy. And at this point, this is where you're going to save it with your last name. You can change the name up there. All right. At the top. And we can now edit it because we've made a copy of it, right? And we can say our scientist's name and so on and so forth. And then this is what you will turn in, all right, at that point. All right, hopefully that makes sense. So we'll go back to Canvas right there and talk about uh, where to turn stuff in. Okay, so the outline gets turned in right there. The scientist presentation. This is where the outline goes, the one that's highlighted. The paper is going to be turned in right there where I have now highlighted. And now let's look at the scientist list real quickly. All right. Now, if yours does this, it happened a lot, what you need to do is hit the little up arrow that exports it out. And so that's going to take us to, again, our site. And here we are. This is the list of scientists. So you're going to look through and find which scientists interest you. There's a list of 117, I believe. So there should be one that you can find that maybe you like. And then you're going to put your name beside it or your initials beside it. Let's say I want to talk about James Chadwick. So I click there. My initials are TG and probably capital. All right, TG. And let's say this is for first hour or I'm in first hour. I would just plug it in just like that. All right, so that's how you pick your scientist. And now my job is to research my scientist. And that's going to be a different video, but hopefully that gets you in and explains what we're doing for this first part. All right, thanks.